hello friends in this video i will tell you how shift register works so this is a circuit for shift register using circuit word software okay so this is our d flip flop this is d flip flop 1 d flip flop 2 d flip flop 3 and d flip flop 4 okay i'll give in the name ff3 ff2 ff1 ff0 so this is the d input okay this is the d input you can see this is the d input okay and this is the clock positive clock now you can see initially the output is zero okay initially the output is zero so as you already know in case of d flip flop the output means it's a delay flip flop so it whatever input you are providing it will transfer to the output so i'm just uh, giving you a practical demonstration how flip flop is working so you can see at clock zero okay we didn't apply any clock at clock zero this is means q3 is zero q2 is zero q1 is zero and q0 okay q0 is also zero so when we apply first clock okay this is our uh, sorry uh, again we didn't apply it now you see we have changed the output uh, input one okay when we applied first clock okay yeah you see first clock is applied so this this uh, d input is transferred to this this flip flop ff3 okay now we will again apply the second clock okay this is a positive s triggered so i am this become negative uh, clock now i am again making it positive so see this one is transferred to this one we didn't change the one input okay now at second clock this one is transferred to this one we will again change and yeah positive so see this one has been transferred to this one okay because it's a delay flip-flop so at third clock you are getting output at q1 okay so we again apply it and you will get the output zero okay so this is called serial in serial out at fourth clock you are getting serial out okay if you again make it zero okay you again make it zero so you can see at circle this zero is transferred to this flip-flop q3 three flip-flop q3 is there now if you apply again the clock so at second clock you will get um, means uh, this was the not second basically fifth and sixth this is the sixth clock q2 six clock so this data has been transferred at seven clock you will get output at q1 so again we will apply see zero okay now at eighth clock you will get the q q zero see so what 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 uh, this circuit is telling is once you change the input at fourth clock you are getting your output okay this is your serial in serial out each four fourth clock means uh, fourth clock then eighth then twelfth then sixteenth clock you will get your output so this is your serial in serial a uh, serial out uh, shift register by using d flip flop we didn't apply it the asynchronous reset and preset and uh, enable if you want to apply so uh, let's do it uh, so see here uh, let make it uh, let me make it zero and uh, let's reset the clock yeah you can see here i i used led here so this is also a d flip flop you can see this is a d okay again the d flip flop in previous circuit i didn't apply any uh, asynchronous uh, command enable and preset okay so here we ha i have applied here okay reset is already if you want to reset so we can directly reset it uh, i will tell you later and this is the preset we will not use this one right now we already applied preset value okay and enable one if you make it zero okay so let's make it zero you make it zero so if you are changing the input and you are giving the clock you see no led is blowing okay so you have to make the circuit enable okay you make the circuit enable so now your circuit is enabled now make it zero so at zero you can see no led is glowing okay now let's make the uh, clock make it one okay make it because uh, how zero is being transferred so led is uh, not led will not glow so you will not able to know so first we'll make it one okay so our data in is input one and this is your data out okay this is your data out if you serial in if you serial out register you're talking so this is your data out okay so let's clock just apply the clock i applied the clock you see first led is glowing at first clock now when i applied second applied the clock second led is glowing at third third led is glowing at fourth fourth led is glowing here the output is also get displayed okay now we can make here zero also or if you want to reset you can reset you see i reset i press the reset button and all the leds are off okay now let's again do it uh, so that you can better understand 
So LED fourth, four clock LED is going. Now let's make it data in is zero. Now data in is zero. So now see, let's apply the clock. Clock first LED is not glowing, second LED is not glowing, third LED is not glowing, and fourth is not glowing. Okay, like this you can see. So let's make it again one. So first LED, second LED, third LED, and fourth LED. 